Yo, 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 this is uh, Tuan coming at you again with yet another boring tutorial. And that's what I'm here to do. Not teach you something, but bore you to death. And, uh, you know, today, I'm going to show you something special. Not really. But, um, you know, you all are on these uh, social networking sites like Facebook and uh, MySpace. I don't know if those twits use uh, pictures. I don't like Twitter because I can't call people twits anymore because they think, well, hey, you know, yeah, I'm on Twitter. Are you? No, I'm not. It's dumb. But, uh, you know, sites like those where you can see your picture. And, uh, you know, you see your friends or all those ugly people you try to holler at. And they have their uh, pictures all Sin city of fied or whatever. And what I mean by that is, you know, they're black, or, black and white or grayscale, whatever you want to call it. But there's always that little drop of color left over. Well... That gate out effect I'm gonna show you today. So, you know, I could just take the picture and make a selection and inverse it and set it to grayscale and call it a day, but I'm not gonna do that. It's not today. I'm going to add an adjustment layer. And you can go through layer and new adjustment layer, but I'm just gonna go ahead and click this yin yang symbol down here. And I'm going to click Gradient Map. And so if you're, uh, wow, Photoshop, would it be a dick and go so slow? If your colors are set to black and white already, it should pop up with a black and white gradient. But I'm going to click the gradient and click black and white. Oops. I thank God for Photoshop CS4 because I can now go back and redo it. So go back a little bit to where you open the gradient, and uh, when you click the double click the actual gradients, it'll bring up this box called the Gradients Editor or Editor, and uh, here you can actually make your own gradients. What? Make your own gradients? Yeah, people do that. And I'm I'm just gonna move the black down just a tad and press OK. And uh so now you know it's very delicious looking. And here is where I'm gonna remove the color. Make sure your gradient map is still gradients map is still selected. And go ahead and grab your brush and make sure it's soft and not super precise if you want to make it soft quote unquote just take your hardness down to zero and uh... go ahead and color in that area you want to keep the color so that's what I'm going to do right here Photoshop is going very slow today this is magnificent. Oh my god. Thank you. And I'm going to color in the other eye too because I'm not biased. I'm not a biased person. I like both eyes equally the same. So that's why I'm doing both eyes. I'm going to grab my eraser and just erase around the edges all that extra mess I made or you can be lazy and not do it but you know I don't want to be that lazy I'm lazy but not that lazy so yeah that's all I'm doing just erasing all that extra filth and I am done basically I could go further but you know I got the main point across 
you can see that the picture is black and white and uh there's some color left over but you know I don't think brown very really works in this case oh my god come on Photoshop go a little faster so I'm just gonna uh make her eyes blue real quick you can change people's eye color in Photoshop yes you can welcome to the 21st century I think that's what we're in so yeah you know that's that's all there is to it go impress all your little gay friends with this dumb little effect and uh good luck to you uh have fun in life i will see you all later in another tutorial stay golden